and welcome to Yan Food Times. Today we're going to a fairly new Japanese restaurant called Musashi's. I will review the two times we've went. I don't remember when they opened, but I'm pretty sure it was around pandemic or after the intense years. Anyways, they open during the weekdays and Saturday. They're completely closed on Sundays. They have a variety of food for very reasonable prices. The first time we went, we ordered various kinds of sushi. Let's look at the avocado salmon rolls first. It had a nice proportion of rice, salmon, and avocado. The salmon was nice and fatty. Moving on to the creamy scallop rolls. I was hoping for more flavor because of the word creamy, but it was a bit bland. I know scallops don't have a lot of flavor to start with, but was hoping to taste some mayo and other seasonings. Anyways, still very fresh and thick pieces. Lastly, we ordered their chirashi for our first visit. There were thick cuts of fish and all were fresh with a good amount for the price you pay. There was salmon, tuna, seared albacore tuna, shrimps, creamy scallop, little salmon rose, and also unagi, and lastly, their yellowtail. My favorites were the unagi, salmon, and yellowtail. The rice was nicely cooked, not too much vinegar, and were individual grains of rice. It was a great experience. The second time was quite different. We ordered the chirashi again and it was not as good because the freshness of some of the fish like the tuna and the seared albacore were very fishy. The rice was also on the dry and harder side. We decided to try their bento as it had a list of assorted dishes to try. The beef and chicken were very dry, especially the beef. It was harder than the chewiest beef jerky you've ever had. The flavors were fine, but it was really hard to chew, let alone swallow. The chicken was a bit better, but both meats were overcooked. Nothing else really stood out except for the side salad. The grilled mushroom and zucchini were okay, but the rice was also the same as the chirashi. The seasoning for the bento was good. I actually really liked their teriyaki sauce as it wasn't too sweet or salty. For the price you pay though, it was not worth it in my opinion. It did come with miso soup, which was not bad as it wasn't too salty like other places, but again, I wouldn't order their bento. I've only been here twice, but maybe I'll drop by one more time in the future to give it one more shot. I think from both experiences, salmon has been good. Do you like Japanese food? If so, what do you like to eat? Please share, 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 and thank you for watching Yan Food Times.